summer goals for 2022. Yes, it's already been summer for a little bit here now, but we just past the official first day of summer and I was spending time in Michigan with my family. Spending time away from Tomas and especially being in my hometown where of course my family's like, hey, come move back here. It really makes me like evaluate my life and think about what I really want to do and what are my goals. So I want to share some things that I've really been thinking about. Maybe you'll feel inspired by lo que voy a decir and make some of your own goals or plans or intentions, I guess. I don't really love the word goals. Of course, if you have the goal of climbing Mount Everest, yeah, that's great. And it's something obvious that you can work towards and you know when you actually accomplish that goal. But a lot of times goals are much more vague, like, oh, I want to drink more water, which doesn't really do you any good. So I more like to set goals that I actually call intentions. I want to live with intention. I want to live day to day a certain way. And so it, my goals are more like a way of being, not necessarily something that I'm going to reach one day or accomplish. It's something over time that I just kind of work on to be the person that I want to be. Ser mi mejor versión. Number one. Take time aside to spend with family. Even if that means putting aside work plans or any other plans that I have art, had already made for myself for the week or whatever it may be. So for me with my flexible schedule, that sometimes just means working late or getting up early to get some work done, specifically like YouTube videos or my virtual assistant work that I do. One day my dad said, hey, do you wanna go fishing? So we went fishing. Another day my brother-in-law was up to check out some land that they wanna buy. And he's like, hey, do you wanna go with? And at first I was like, no, I have too much going on. And then after a little bit of thought, I said, yes, let's go. Prefiero pasar ese tiempo with family doing fun things, getting out of the house, even though it means pushing off my work to a little bit later. I still meet my deadlines and it actually helps me be more productive in the time that I am working on my stuff. So here's a few of the activities that I did with family and friends that we had fun doing. 14 feet deep and the water's almost 60 degrees. three feet and 50 degrees water temperature. Beep, beep. <laughs> Good fishing. Estás pescando. that I want to do. Life is short and especially when you have like vacation time or time away from your regular routine at your house, there's things you want to do and time just slips away if you don't schedule them in. This has happened to me way too many times. Every time I go to Michigan, I'm like, I want to go to the waterfalls, I want to go to the lake, I want to go 
all over the place. We went down to our camp several times throughout the time I was in Michigan. And every time we were there, I'm like, oh, the lake looks nice, I should go kayaking. But then in my head, I was like, uh, maybe I'll wait for the lake to get flatter. Or, oh, I don't really have a good babysitting situation right now, maybe I shouldn't. And then I like, don't even ask the people that are there to help me with the kids so I can go kayaking. I pushed off kayaking so many times. I love kayaking, I love being out on the lake, in nature, in the quiet, away from my phone. <laughs> I love that just disconnection from the rest of the world and chaos. <laughs> I also did my best to schedule time with particularly this one friend that every time I go to Michigan I'm like let's hang out and then sometimes we don't end up doing anything because we don't end up planning it. So I finally did that this time. It's like hey are you available tomorrow afternoon? I'm coming. She's like okay. <laughs> Number three is just to get up and take action. Do things in the moment instead of sitting and thinking about doing it. Like I said, the kayaking, I was like, oh, I should do that. And then I didn't, because I just sat there. I also wanted to film last week's video, which you can check out here if you haven't seen it yet, <laughs> or in the description box below. I had the idea for that video for so long, and I just kept pushing it off. I had other videos that I could work on, edit, and upload, so I didn't have to film it yet, but it really would have been better to just take advantage of the moment that I had in the moment and just go do it. I finally did that one day. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go film. It's raining. Oh well. There's been a lot of rain in Michigan, so there was a lot of days that were either too windy or too rainy, and I'm like, oh, I can't film when it's like that or whatever. You saw it. I finally did it when it was super windy, but there was one day that it was raining, and I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna take out my camera. Maybe I just need to turn it on. Now, it's too raining? Yeah. Rain, rain, go away. Come again and again. Mommy wants to play. Rain, rain, go away. A lot of times the most fun moments that we have are just like get up and do moments. Like snap of the fingers, you're like, I'm gonna go do something. Those unplanned, spontaneous things. not necessarily a fun thing. A veces tenemos que wash dishes, make food, clean up a little, fold laundry, whatever it is. There's usually something we can be doing. And my mom has taught me this. She barely sits idle ever. She just doesn't really enjoy sitting there doing nothing. So a lot of times when we're visiting with her, she'll be making bread or making cookies or doing the laundry or cutting up rhubarb that needs to get put in the freezer. Like she's always just doing the things that need to get done. Otra cosa que quiero hacer, number four, is to say yes to discomfort. I want to actively be working on myself from week to week, not necessarily like every moment of every day, but regular things throughout the week that push myself to do uncomfortable things. <laughs> like I said, expand your comfort zone. Gonna be honest here, when my brother-in-law asked if I want to go out to the land with him, I was like a little scared to because I had never really spent time with him. But it was like just nice getting to know each other time. The other thing was going outside to film that video even when it was windy, even when I didn't know what to do. I was just like, I'm gonna go dive into it, see what comes of it. 
Yes, I have improved a ton in my confidence and growing my comfort zone over time, but I feel like I haven't really been actively working on that recently. Y quiero trabajar en eso. I flew alone. Oh my gosh, that banging sound? That's the dog like whapping its tail against the wall and stuff. Anyway. <laughs> Here we go. I flew alone with my two kids, which really made me nervous going to the airport, but I was like, okay, I need to learn how to do this, so I'm gonna do it. Made it in through check-in and security just fine. thumbs up leave a comment down below what are your goals thoughts intentions good books you've read recently anything anything number five want to practice being present in the moment enjoying and focused on what I'm doing I'm reading a book called deep work by Cal Newport if you've never heard of it I'm really enjoying it it's funny because my sister she said she tried to read it and she was just couldn't get into it but I am really enjoying the book Anyway, it talks about how we are so fragmented these days. We have such short attention spans. We're doing so many things at once and we can only do it for so long before we're like, okay, what's the next thing? So he talks about readjusting ourselves, stopping the fragmented, doing too many things at once and really getting into deep work and focusing on one thing for an extended period of time not letting distractions like your phone, the internet, anything pull you away from what you're focused on. But besides that angle of it, there's also the the way our brain wants to think ahead to the future or think to the past. I heard a quote recently about if you're anxious, you're living in the future. If you're feeling regretful, you're living in the past. But if you're living in the peace, if you're living in the present, you have peace, something like that. And it's so true. So on my way to the airport to fly with my kids back home by myself, I was really nervous. As I was eating breakfast, I was focusing so hard trying to stay in that moment of just enjoying my food because I knew that if I think, if I would go to think about el viaje con los niños, I was gonna lose my appetite because it's happened before. Just some like a little bit of stress in my head about like, is my suitcase gonna be overweight? Am I gonna get there on time? Am I gonna make it onto my plane? Just that stress of going to the airport. But once I get like through security and, and ready for my flight and everything, like it's all good. I'm not scared of like flying itself, but all that's to say, I was really realizing what it says in that quote that if you're nervous you're or anxious, you're in the future. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna sit in this moment. And another thing about that is I really did not want to clean my house, my duplex, my rental house. I went home knowing that it was gonna be a thing that I should probably do. I was feeling so overwhelmed with many different things and I was like, how am I gonna clean the entire house? It all needs to get painted and it's nasty, dirty. I just need to like scrub the walls and everything. So I was thinking ahead to the future of when I'm gonna be cleaning it and and that it needs to all get done and that made me feel overwhelmed and yucky and not good when i actually went to the house thank you mother for getting me over there because she's like are you gonna clean your house let's go over there i'll help you so that was great after that initial bump that i had to get over of i don't want to do this i enjoyed myself in the moment of cleaning my house <laughs> my what do you have what is that? There's so much more I could get into right now, especially about this book, Deep Work, but I'm just gonna say, being present in the moment is one of my goals. I am working on it. It's a practice. It is something that I think I'm getting better at. <laughs> 
kids, they're so good at being present in the moment and I spent a lot of time, of course, with my own kids and also with my nieces and nephews in Michigan. We really could learn a lot from kids, you know? But kids are always asking to do this and that and the other thing. So we played games. That's another thing I've been wanting to do, but I tend to just like go on social media instead of being like, hey, let's play a game. And then also just within being present in the moment, just enjoying yourself. You know, we went to the beach and we were skipping rocks and just throwing rocks in the water, yay. <laughs> like it doesn't necessarily found, sound that fun, but if you're in the moment, just like enjoying yourself, enjoying the view, just sitting in the peace, it is lovely. Also, we went to another beach another time and I'm always in my adult mind just like, oh, I can't sit in the sand, like I'll get all full of sand and then I'm gonna get sand in the car and whatever. It's hard to get off, but no. Kids, they just go for it. They sit in the sand like Valentina, dig holes, play with a stick, be a kid, you know? Is it cold? <laughs> Cosa que quiero, otra cosa que quiero hacer, this is a sort of a number six, I guess, is I want to keep on track with all these things. Me and my sister started a mastermind group once upon a time. Once a week, we would just chat about what we did the past week and what goals we have for the next week coming up. And we have not been doing very good on keeping on schedule. So what do I do as a person who uploads videos to YouTube? and who likes outside accountability. I want to do a weekly mastermind kind of with you guys. And it's just gonna be me talking about my past week, my future week, and y'all can leave comments below about what you're working on, what goals, intentions you have. So that'll be probably a Tuesday video. I love forward motion, self-improvement, helping each other with that. Así que eso es. <laughs> Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Y'all know what to do. Bye. Also, yes, I'm wearing my merch, bro. I love my clothes that I made. <laughs> and, it's and what's the temperature? To be temperature. Temperature. Time to fish? Mommy. Hmm? Go out. Oh, okay.